start and uh, today's lesson what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish up this uh, last part and also I will, i'm going to tell you uh, the future predictions because future predictions needed much needed you know these books are all these are printed long ago so the facts in the book is not timely it is accurate according to the past but it is not accurate according to the uh, present and future again other tasaha හෙතට මේකේ කරුණු ඒ විදියම කියලා කියන්න බෑ සමහර දේවල් වෙනස් වෙනවා හරි ඒ හින්ද ඔයා දැනගන්න ඕන එකක් ඉගෙන ගත්තට පස්සේ දැන් මේ කරුණු හැමදාම මෙහෙම තියෙන්නේ නෑ this is not uh, going to last forever no so then you need to know how things are going to change and also how can you uh, predict things so that is really needed okay let's uh, finish this first so natural disasters under that we have only two things to discuss that is thunder uh, and um, also this uh, landslides we have already finished uh, this uh, up to 5.1 and then uh, actually uh, floods we have already discussed due to like overflow we know maybe the instantaneous floods so the overflow is basically because of the rains happen regularly this uh, you know reservoirs or reservoirs tanks and uh, even rivers rivers uh, can like uh, maybe fill up and then uh, overflow so that can cause flooding so that can predict anyway because uh, when it is raining for few days we know there will be but uh, instantaneous ones are like it's sudden right maybe that is due to the water blockage or drainage blockages so ape thiyenawane waste water yanna den bahira ape town walayema hadala thiyena kota hadala thiyena oya kaanu paddathiya eken thama yanne habe owa block wela thiyenna pula eka parama wassa hadi samallata within one day you will get uh, instant chenis flash e eka den samata predict karanna pula den giya avurudda wassa kisi awulak pune ne samata me avurudda wahina kota oya water drainage system wala block thiyenna pula mokada anawasara idiri kirin කුණු බැහැර කරපු ඒවා කුණු දාපු ඒවා ඔව වහින්දා මේ සමහරට ගෙවල් හදපු ඒවා හින්දා හරි මොකක් හරි හින්දා ඔය සිස්ටම් බ්ලොක් වෙලා තියෙන්න පුළුවන් එන ගිය අවුරුද්දේ වැස්සා මොකුත් තුනේ නැහැ දැන් මේ අවුරුද්දේ වැස්සා හැටි එක පාට මොන ගමු සෝ දැට් කැන් හැපන් දැට් ඉස් ඉන්ස්ටන්ෂියස් බට් දැට් මේ බි ලයික් බට් දිස් ඕවර්ෆ්ලෝ ඇන්ඩ් ඕල් දිස් ඉස් රිකරන්ට් රිකරන්ට් මින්ස් දැට් දැට් කැන් රිකර් දැට් කැන් රිපීට් දැන් සමහර පැති තියෙන්න හැමදාම ඔය මොනා හරි හේතුවක් ඉන්නේ නැහැ කැලණි ගඟ ආවට ප්‍රදේශ වලට වැස්සම ගන්නවා. ඒව ප්‍රෙඩික්ට් කරන්න බලන්න ඕන වහින කාලේ එනකොට කැලණි ගඟ ලක් කට්ටි දැම්ම දැන් ඉතින් ෆ්ලඩ්ස් එකක් වෙනවා. බට් ඉන්ස්ටන්ස් වීනස් ප්ලස් ෆ්ලඩ් සම් ටයිම්ස් ලයික් සමහර වෙලාවට ඒව නැති වෙන්නත් පුළුවන්, එන්නත් පුළුවන්. සෝ දැට් ඉස් බේස්ඩ් ඔන් ද බ්‍රේන් ඒජස් ඇන්ඩ් ඕල්. සෝ දෙන් ලෑන්ඩ් ස්ලයිඩ්ස්. ලෑන්ඩ් ස්ලයිඩ්ස් ඔල්සෝ ඇන් ඕ අර්ත් ස්ලීප් so this is uh, basically due to uh, like you know due to rain and deforestation uh, or human activities various um, constructions this can happen i can mona hari minissu karana dewal hinda e wage mo gas kapala dala hinda e wage dewal hinda wenna puluwa samara welawata mukutma nathuwa landslides enna puluwa ne kiyana koda ark lokuwata wahala me eka සාමාන්‍යයෙන් සමහර වෙලාවට ඇස්වල තියෙන අන්ස්ටබිලිටි එකක් එහෙම සමහර වෙලාවට තියෙනවා සමහර පැතිවල මේ ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ වතුර තෙමිල 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 වතුර වැඩි වුණාම ඒ යට අස් ලේයර් එක බුරුල් වෙනවා එහෙම වෙලා එතකොට ඒක බර වැඩි වෙනවා ඉතින් එන්න එන්න මොකද වෙන්නේ ලෑන්ඩ්ස්ලයිඩ් එකක් වෙනකොට ඒ වටේ තියෙන පසුත් ඇදගෙන තමයි යන්නේ බිකොස් ඔෆ් දි එනර්ජි ඒ ගුඩින් ලෑන්ඩ්ස්ලයිඩ් එකක් වෙනකොට ඒකත් එක්ක ඇද්දිලා යනවා ගස් ගල් තියෙන පසු කොහොම Uh, I think in the landslide, you can win so how basically uh, there is a uh, like government organization so which basically they are uh, keeping an eye at these landslide areas so they inform people when there are signs like uh, so there are sudden uh, waterways and uh, basically uh, continuous heavy length so, so here you can see the bond between the soil particles Uh, and bedrock getting weak at the same time that is why the landslides are uh, happening and actually 
So, anyway, because of this gravitational potential energy, can you put it in the palat other than non common? Put it in the palat, uh, then me Adina Balayat the only thing in the coma landslide take a product start to know if there is a small landslide, so the potentiality will be a potential of energy or the kinetic energy will be high. So, then other soil, even the soil is not weak, it can. Uh, basically affect. So how uh, these are the predictions, these are the signs. So if you are getting, if if the particular place is getting a sudden, uh, not sudden, like heavy rains, more than 100 millimeter rain uh, continuously, then so there is a risk because rain is not, rain is heavy and that is, then that is continuous also. So that can be a reason for a landslide. So then appearing tracks in the surface. So this mostly like in the news also, people are telling, right? Oh, I pet them, someone not here. Me him a bimi me rita la tipa, bitti rita la tipa. Oye wa game. So these tracks appear in the slope of the floor, slope of the soil. And also the walls, right? Signs, uh, the tracks in the buildings, in the walls. And uh, depression on the earth, right? Dep uh, so depressions, on earth and drying and slant in streets and the slopes. And Pahala Tiyan Gas, Alavenava, Mayan Pula Muka, they will pull well. So, maybe the dam due to the damages uh, that happen to these uh, trees, especially the root system that can slant or that can even kill. So, this can be a sign, right? Then, uh, muddy water on the slopes, suddenly leaking of muddy water and water runoff appearing or disappearing of that. So animals, abnormal behaviors of the animals, they are sometimes uh, they are messed up because they can feel there's something happening and appear in new water strains. Entering water into tracks of the earth and oozing out from the other ekatanaking That can be another reason. So uh, like basically in the management part, so People are removed from the particular area, the high risk area. The government is responsible uh, to not notify that. And also people, so they have a self responsibility if there are these signs, so they can move out from this area in order to prevent the life damages. So there are like, uh, uh, actually three main risk areas in landslides. Initialization areas, they can landslide like a patanga Area ke ilang ata flow path ke landslide ke kani naay yana Pradesh ya saha ah e naay ke hilat tempat na hoy tuna mo risk ke di initialization area ekani kada ke niyan eto kada flow path ke di niya watte di niya kaya ilay na kulo but that is why the flow path is a risk area and also the deposit area you know so dia ego lang ko lutha mo kada ng ede ne ego lo path ke hiti na saman landslide ke kani may inne ten ni then na ye sabi slope pe kagnati area ka kyun? Habera slope pe kahil na deposit drain ne habera slope pe kagnati thay. Therefore, they are also at risk. And evacuating of the people, like I said, from their area and bringing down the water using pipelines. And uh, this I say is uh, like Kantawa. This uh, this I said last week. Kantawa ke lage na hill malu prometo aga karadiye ma ekam antaming ne aara. Ekama level legging hara no kanu. Current our teachers to drain what down slope without letting it. So I can pass it to Raga and then to Patro Galagani and Eka Matame, Sapikina, some summer matame. Hari Kanu Padatia Hadana, which an acre, some matame Hadane, Tara, Patro Hoda Gayan in a TV. Some more check here. Some more current our teachers. So then uh, if flop uh, in the hills is necessary to cut should be cut uh, in a cascade manner so that cascade manner they, that is also that whatever thing we just discussed that that is why what that we call hill malu from any the way to skill again the kantava teachers and maybe they give us acti and hari hill malu from me can go with and cannot party pelavagi ada garnica take a farm slope karagan in a to cascade karla then metanadika and kantava teachers or the karana some watch ekamusa uh, we are very
Okay, uh, then land stability should be monitored and this is done by the National Building Research Organization. So when you're building, uh, they will uh, do uh, an investigation and let you know whether it's a risky area or not. The final is uh, the lightning, lightning and uh, thunder rain. Right. So how can we, uh, that this is natural, like we cannot avoid, but the thing is we can uh, like employ surge arresters uh, here you can see uh, a building fitted with a lightning conductor, lightning conductor, and also surge arresters. So surge arresters, so this is in the tall buildings. I think you have seen tall buildings and so tall areas, tall towers, uh, and uh, most of the constructions. So man-made things, there are uh, this kind of uh, arrestor, basically lightning conductor. So this is done using copper. Uh, actually, what will happen when there is a uh, light, when there is a thunder rain and this, this will be arrested or attracted by this met metal and then uh, it will bring down to the earth without damaging the surfaces. Right. So, and uh, here you can see lightning and uh, lightning uh, conductors should be fitted to required standards. Some of protective measures from the lightning are listed. Lightning conductors can protect you. Avoid keeping the house connected to close by uh, trees with metallic uh, wires. Uh, so connected close by trees with metal wires and maybe uh, api gedara thiyana gedara saha me monada me usagas thiyana areas eva metal metal wire walin daagatto thidi illan akunu ga ganna wage weda metal cloth lines and wires used uh, on trees are slanted to the house in some example sl uh, like slanted to the house are some examples for this Metallic cloth lines and wires basically uh, used uh, used to the trees that are slanted to the house. Uh, this is like you need to avoid because the reason is so that can conduct current when there are lightning. So that can bring current to your house. And conducting wires in the environment, electricity supply wires, television, antenna wires, etc. help to conduct electric current lightning from place to place. Therefore, protective measures should be taken when fixing them. ఇన్సులేటర్స్కే not always but we need to at least manage them ithara hema velema api balanna ona akunu gahana velawata off karala tiya ganna godak serana akunu sannayakayak saha surge arresters kiyala giyanne men meema surge you can see them this uh, mainly in the me You can see them in, uh, especially in this uh, wiring. Wiring, the Kaddala Tedi, may 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 surge arresters make a high color theater. But even Mukadakara. So, surge arresters can protect your device by arresting this. Surge arresters can basically uh, protect your device. Yeah. So, there are surge arrestor switches also. We can like install them in our house, inside our house. Either me making me uh, here power line cut. And the eye is basically a resistor. Right? Light in arrestor of search, uh, diverter. Me make a then karane. Uh, Non-linear resistor. 
expand and round. So basically, the eye is uh, in the power line circuit. So how this works? Okay, let's see a uh, small animation about this first, just to understand how search arrestor works. When the eye is a lightning, how it is works, you can just see this animation to see that. Just let me load that. Okay, let me load this for you. Greetings, everyone. This is John Woodworth of Arrestor Works. Today's discussion is titled, What is a Lightning Arrestor? Although a lightning rod does protect from lightning, it does so only on structures and is not an arrestor. Lightning rods are devices that divert lightning surges to ground, but unlike arresters, they are simple conductive terminals that are always at ground potential and are never energized. According to most definitions, a lightning arrestor is a device used in power systems above 1000 volts to protect other equipment insulation from being damaged by lightning and switching surges. The SPD and the TVSS are devices that are similar to lightning investors in that they are surge diverters, but they are generally used at voltages well below 1000 volts. So how does a lightning arrestor protect the power system? Let's take a look at an example where the transformer is not protected by an arrestor. If lightning were to strike the line, the current will flow down the line into the transformer. This action will most likely result in damage to the transformer and the lights will go out. However, if the transformer is protected by an arrestor and the line is hit by lightning, the arrestor will turn on and divert the surge to ground. The arrestor protects the transformer from damage and of course, the lights stay on. So how does an arrestor work? Right. I was talking about the early days. So, especially these arrestors are not used. When there's a lightning, the lightning transformer will be damaged. Transformer the pitch like a bit of current. If you have a rest, you can get a ground. So, the eye is like, I don't know whether um, it's true or false, but uh, there are arguments. So, you know, this two person or Chaitya, or Chaitya will be in a quota, good up will out, Miss Sir Jarastak with the Vadagar no killer, Kiro. You can Akuna Gehomi, Akuna Round Karagan no killer, the Largan. Right? So, let's see the behavior first. Things it does not do is it does not absorb the lightning and it does not stop the lightning. It does, however, clamp or limit the voltage produced by the lightning and it does divert the lightning current to ground. It should be noted that the arrestor will only protect equipment that is electrically in parallel with it. So how does the arrestor divert the lightning? To answer that, let's discuss the metal oxide varistor, or MOV disc as it is referred to. The MOV disc is a semiconductor that is sensitive to voltage. At normal voltages, the MOV disc is an insulator and will not conduct current. But at higher voltage caused by lightning, it becomes a good conductor. Essentially, the MOV disc is a very fast acting electronic switch. It is an open switch to standard system AC voltages and a closed switch to lightning voltages. If we were to magnify the MOV material 5,000 times, 
we would be able to discern the metal oxide grains and dopants in the material. An MOV disc with a 35 millimeter diameter and a 35 millimeter height contains about 28 billion MOV grains. A lightning arrestor is basically a collection of billions of microscopic junctions of metal oxide grains that turn on and off in microseconds to form a current path from the top terminal to the ground terminal of the arrestor. This action prevents the voltage from overstressing. No need to uh, like understand in deep, just think like this. This, uh, this is actually called metal oxide uh, one. This, uh, what it have actually, what it does is it's acting as a switch. Normally, under normal voltages, it's work as an insulator. Samane current ka making yaani ne. Ita leke insulator ka parivara kya. Have I? Akuna ghadi loku voltage ka kya nani? When there is a big voltage, when thunder in lightning. So that time, this will work as a good conductor. Again, Samane current ka ke di make ni kaun switch ka make close switch ka kya. Open switch ka kya. Yaan na dini na current. Have I? Akuna ghadi loku current ka ke di tag dalay amna make. The making current take out by the way. Making current take out by the transformer in your neck and never till I make a tagger around the lamp. In the equipment, it is protecting. So there you have it. A lightning arrestor is a device used in power systems. It contains billions of electronic switches, and during a lightning strike, it diverts lightning currents around sensitive equipment and saves their insulation from damage. We hope this arrestor fax has provided a better understanding of what an arrestor is. As always, we welcome any feedback or questions you may have. Remember. Okay, that is what the lightning or surge arrestor is. So that is basically a switch, kind of switch. Sensitive to high voltage. When there is a high voltage, it will be drowned. But under normal voltages, it is... Under normal voltages, it is working. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. I hope you got an idea. So how this works and how surge direct uh, arrestor uh, behaves. But for like just to attract this, we are using lightning conductor, lightning rods. Akunu sannayaka. Akunu sannayaka karana akunu akashanayaka karana kuhumat polavate avani. Are the search arrestors karane, switch up with the Vedagarla, Samana Vela with the Abu Berla Tieno, Loku Kalrantaka Kena Vela with the Tagal Brown Kalana, Samana Vela with the Parivara. Saints you later. These are two things that you need to. Right. Uh, so, anyway, you advise to keep these uh, appliances disconnected and basically television antennas and all better to disconnect and refrain from. Using uh, or uh, like uh, touching the metal equipment, like someone local day, well, all like on the neck, you know, refrain from using telephones. Telephone may well use can like on the neck, you know, telephone wire para ha, akunu enna kudo. These are the things that we need to cause. And uh, again, uh, for your protection, it's better to avoid uh, like uh, the places with uh, like uh, avoid climbing trees and all. Gas na gine ka, kandu na gine ka, eva eva akunu kahan me laave. Because, like you know, so it will be Akuna Balane, Ikmanata Bugata. Akuna Kaden Nekoman, Ekamanamitanathia. How this uh, like lightning happens? So that should be there. Akunu Gahana Hattie. Okay, so Akuna Kaden Avidia. How lightning happens. So that is basically a static voltage. That voltage, uh, there is a high negative and high positive differences, uh, voltages. Sometimes it may, may 